Hey guys, welcome back, or bomb here, bringing you another episode of our TCG content. Now today, I'm doing something a little bit different. First of all, I'm going to play some music. Um, so, uh, this music is the Extended Pokemon Battle Revolution remix. It's wild. I actually like this song. Um, but anyways, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> Um, today we're doing a little bit something different, so be sure to drop a like if you're excited for more TCG content. I really appreciate the support you guys give this series. I'm going to try to do this more often. Um, so in our previous videos, you should go ahead and check out. They've been doing really well. Things like Xerneas Break and Mega Mewtwo Y. All my videos are 2017 standard format. Um, in my previous videos, I've spent a lot of time like sitting down and building a deck. And I would, of course, get inspiration from other people's decks and kind of be like, oh, that's a good idea. But then I like give my own leveling and things like that. I don't know I have a I don't, I don't know if you would call my thing unique, but I definitely <clears throat> I definitely do my best to play uh, more in the probability realm, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, this time, instead of doing that, I actually went to deckrecipe.com. If you guys go check it out, I actually took the recent Eveltal break build they did. And you know what? I'm just going to play it. Haven't tested it yet. Haven't even tried it yet. Don't know anything about it. But it looks like it's cool. Like, it looks really cool. I wanted to play Eveltal break for a long time. Uh, it looks interesting, even though it's probably bad. <laughs> but I wanted to give it a shot. So I just kind of copy pasted their deck. I changed a couple things. For instance, I really like these Eveltals. So instead of putting just one, I put in two because uh, I figured Pitch Black Spear was going to help big time. Um, and because there wasn't a Ninja Boy, I just threw in a Parallel City because Ninja Boy was in the deck. And Ninja Boy is going to make this deck so much better. But you can't use it on TCGO yet. So I actually just threw in a Parallel City for the time being. And I like Parallel City a lot. You guys know how much I like that deck. But anyways, the star of the deck is Eveltal Break. Three energy costs, 150 HP. HP is not the best. Energy cost is really high. But it's 120 damage, which is enough to knock out Shamans and Mana Feeds, which is nice. And we're going to twist our next real quick, including myself. Uh, Bayful Knight is the attack. This attack does 30 damage to each of your op opponent, uh, opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. And it doesn't apply weakness or resistance. So... That's pretty nice. You can add up damage counters uh, real quick, like, uh, and the reason why I like having it with this Eveltal is because, first of all, Fright Knight turns off tools if it's active, and since we're going to probably have this Eveltal active a lot, that means people that want to Mega Evolve can't use our Spirit Links and stuff like that, because we'll end their turn. Float Stones become nullified, um, what was it, Fighting Fury Belts become nullified, things like that, which is really, really nice in this ex essentially tool-heavy meta, because you can't remove tools right now. But yeah, the attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon EX, which is amazing because um, <laughs> that's half damage to Shamans. That's going to help add up for the Eveltal Break attack. And 60 damage is not that bad for a double colorless and a dark energy. We are going to be running two double colorless energies for that exact reason to help to help set up this Pokemon. Uh, we're also running 10 dark energies. We want to run through this deck, especially with Max Elixirs, before we evolve all of our Pokemon. So hopefully we can run through in the beginning of the turn. We also have things like Eveltal EX. Evil Ball does 20 damage times the number of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So it really helps in the Mewtwo matchup. Mewtwo Y likes to stack up on energies and knock us out. So we come in with our own Evil, Evil Ball, weaken things. And not to mention, it's just a nice EX attacker. We can always attach our basic energies to it using Max Elixir, which we do play four of in this deck. Um, other interesting things, we do play two Shamans, of course, for the draw support. We are playing two of this Eveltal. I like this art a lot, that's why I chose it. Attach a Dark Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So Oblivion Wing helps you charge up. Darkness Blade does 100 damage. It's decent, I guess. But you can't attack the following turn, which kind of sucks. So we don't want to do that that much. Um, we're playing two Absol, and the reason this is the reason why it's good to have um, Ninja Boy, because you can put the Absols back in the deck and replace them with things like Eveltal. Same with Shamans, because there's no more AZ in the format, it's a lot easier that way. But we're playing Parallel City to get rid of them just in case. Cursed Eyes is actually really cool. When you when you play this Pokemon from your hand into your bench, you may move three damage counters from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of his or her Pokemon. So you can essentially just move 30 damage from one Pokemon to another in any way you like. So just from, I mean, obviously you can't move it like 10, 10, 10, but you can move 30 to one Pokemon to another, which is really cool. It helps the math a lot. And especially before you attack with Evolt, I don't know. It, it, you'll see, you'll see the math later. I like I said, I've never played this deck, but it definitely looks like the math will. I will <laughs> Will be perfect. We are playing three energy switch. Now this is what I think is really cool. I've been trying to make. I'm. I have some ideas in the back of my head, like uh, like um, like uh, using energy switch with things like what Xerneas, 
Rainbow Rosonius and things like that. So I actually really like the card. Uh, oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, I just woke up. Mm. Um, to one escape rope because you know everything has a heavy retreat cost. Uh, I already talked about Max Luxor. We do play one super rod to put things back into the deck. One switch, and I'm playing my secret egg one, guys. I have a secret egg switch. Yeah, I don't have a lot of secret eggs, so it's cool to me. Don't make fun of me, it's okay. I'm playing four trainer mail, uh, four ultra balls, all for the consistency, four VS seekers. Of course, as far as the supporters go, we are playing one hex maniac, turn off abilities, uh, two Lysander, two N, and then uh, one Pokemon Ranger. Pokemon Ranger is nice, just you know, you can attack past effects like uh, Regice or Jolteon, things like that. Jolteon kind of wrecks our shit though, because you know, it one shots us. <laughs> we have to be careful around Jolteon, guys. That's really all there is to it. How do we beat Jolteon in this deck? I don't think you do. I think you just straight lose to Jolteon. Well, you have to like do damage to it, of course. So you have to have a bunch of Pokemon set up in the back. Play four Sycamores for that draw consistency, draw support. We do play one Parallel City to, uh, you know, empty our own bench, reduce damage if we have to, uh, hinder our opponent. There's so many uses for Parallel City, it's so wild. Um, we're playing two Reverse Valleys, there's 10 more damage with our Dark type attack, which is going to add up pretty nicely. And then one Float Stone, and we are playing two Double Colorless Energies for our two Eveltals, Shamans maybe, and uh, Eveltal EX over there. And we are playing 10 Dark Energies for the Max Elixir, just so we have as many energies as we can without making the deck too clunky. And that's the deck! So hopefully we're going to find some good matches and I will be back after I cut out all this other nonsense, give myself a cup of water and we'll be back with a match. <sighs> so we're playing a dragon deck, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I went downstairs to grab me a glass of water and I was just like, man, there's no wa bottles of water. <laughs> and then our water filter is kind of busted right now, so I can't have any water because it all tastes nasty. But then I went downstairs and the smell of croissants filled the air and I was so happy. Anyways, we're going first for whatever reason. I do not mind, I want to go first. Uh, what do we do here? I don't want to lice, I don't want to get rid of my double du double colors, but I might have to. But anyway, actually, no, I don't have to. I have my, uh, oh yeah, this is actually not bad. The thing is, do I get Shaman? I don't think I get Shaman. I think I get this Eveltal, and then I Sycamore, after I attach the this one right here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So the smell of croissants filled the air and I was super excited to get me some motherfucking croissants. I was so hyped. <clears throat> and then I went downstairs, all the croissants were gone. The only thing that was left was the smell of them and I was so sad. But I made myself a cup, a cup of tea, so I'm all good now. Oh, this is actually really nice. Um, if we can hit this max looks, that'd be the tits. It's the tits! Alright, cool. So now we have a fully set up Eveltal. Uh, we have this Eveltal in the active spot. I think I'm just gonna end my turn with this. <clears throat> I can attach this Eveltal here. I can attach to this Eveltal here, I mean. Um, I kinda want this, no, I want this Eveltal to be this one. That's what I think. I don't know, I'm probably just gonna retreat this one, to be honest. And then start attacking with this one, just to snipe down things, and then eventually set up to uh, attack with Eveltal Break. But then he ends my cards away, so it doesn't matter what my plan was. Well, there goes my float stone. Probably should have attached it first, but I don't know if these people are playing current meta decks or not. We got another Max Luxor though, which isn't the worst. We have an Ultra Ball 2, Trainer Mail. Oh yeah, this is not bad. This is not a bad. We're playing Mega Latios, by, by the way, with a Fighting Fury built, so it's not like a Mega Latios deck. It's just Latios, which is very interesting to me. I'm going to attach here. Play my Trainer Mail, see what we can get off this. Nothing, okay, cool. Um, I don't really want a Super Rod because there's nothing to Super Rod. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball the Super Rod and the Pokemon Ranger. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab my boy Shebe. My diligent, young, hardworking girl. Now, the, I don't want a Max Elixir yet. I want a Max Elixir to another Evo at all, so I'm actually just gonna drop the Shaman for it first and just draw four. Hopefully it doesn't mess us up, but I don't think it will. We got the float stone, which is actually super nice. So it didn't mess us up whatsoever, except for the fact that we drew two dark energies. So the chances of us actually getting the uh, max elixir is a lot lower, but we'll see what we can do. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, that's fine though. Have we played a supporter yet? No, we haven't. We'll just, I should have end actually. That was my fault. I didn't realize I had to end in my hand. It's 100% my fault day. I'm gonna drop another Eveltal. You know what I'm going to do? Should I do this? 
No, I'm not gonna worry about it. I do have energy switch though. So next turn, can I move? Ba uh, I can only move basic energies, right? Well, it doesn't matter because um, no, I'm not. Should I evolve right now? I'm gonna evolve right now. Extra HP. I'm gonna make this the main attacker. I decided. I didn't want to, but whatever. We can attack this and then do 60 damage here, and then uh, we can knock this out here because the fighting fury belt doesn't work, and uh, do 30 more damage there. While energy, because we can attach with this one and then energy switch with that one, that would give us our three energy cost. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, the only thing is, we have. To, I want to draw something useless that I can um, throw away. That way, I can you know have it set. Because I want to grab another shame and draw more stuff. That'd be convenient. Ooh, this thing's around. I kind of want to weaken that thing too. This is a weird deck. I don't know why he's playing the. Um, what is this attack even doing? Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage from this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Interesting. <clears throat> he played Bridget. I don't know what he grabbed, but that was interesting. Oh, he grabbed the Shay 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 Bay Bay is here. I'm gonna drink some more tea, guys, if you would excuse me. This deck is so cool. I like Eveltal uh, Break so much. Like, Xerneas Break is fun, but like I don't like energy stacking decks, you know what I mean? Like the only energy stacking deck I like is Dark Tina. The only reason why I like Dark Tina is because both Dark Rye Full Art and Giratina Full Art look so pretty together. <laughs> They're both the same color scheme and everything, and you know I'm all about my looks. You know what I'm saying, ladies. Anyways, that was weird. <laughs> but man, they had all the croissants. They didn't leave me shit. Some fucking family, am I right, guys? Who doesn't leave a man with croissants? I'll tell you who doesn't leave a man with croissants. I'm gonna actually start knocking out the shaman. <clears throat> oh man <clears throat> I don't know what's my best player because I want to win so I could I'm just gonna double attack we'll pitch back spear and then we'll do six damage to this shaman and then we'll do it again next turn that'll knock that one out actually you know what I can do no nah, there's not really a point because I was thinking I could absolutely here move three damage counters from this Latios to uh this shaman then use bayful knight but i'm actually gonna knock it out anyway so it doesn't matter as he retreats dude you're going down you don't have a fighting fury belt like you act like you have a fighting fury belt right now but in reality you don't have a fighting fury belt right now <clears throat> and what's really nice about this i don't think he realizes that he doesn't have a fighting fury belt right now oh yeah he definitely doesn't realize it uh anyways what was i saying uh how much hp does this thing have it's 170, so I need to do. I can I can knock it out with my 120. I can move damage counters from here to here. Well, actually, I kind of want the. Well, I'm only doing 30, so I'm not gonna knock it out anyways. If I move it, it'll be. I I want I want to move it though. I think I can actually move it from here, because then it's I no I can't move from there. Where can I move it from? I'll move it from here to here. Why not? Do I even need to do that though? We'll start attaching to this Eveltal. Hmm, what's my best play? I can knock out both of my energy switches. I just want to knock things out, and I'm gonna knock this one out for sure. I'm gonna weak. Actually, I can just knock out two Pokemon at once. Why don't I just do that? Move damage counters, uh, yes. We'll move it from the Shaman to the Latios. And that way he's in range now. Anything else I wanna do? I can grab a Shaman next turn if I feel like it. Oh, I don't have the energy. Oh, wait a minute, I can just put the energies on my Pokemon right now, right? So it's a basic energy card. We'll just move it here. And we'll just be stuck next turn. <laughs> but this is actually pretty cool because now I can actually knock this thing out. Uh, but and he can't knock me out next turn because he doesn't have a Pokemon to attack me with. So now we can use Baleful Knight and knock out two Pokemon at once, grabbing four prize cards deliciously. Grab these two. Oh, he just gives up because he realizes all I have to do is knock out a Shaman and I win. All right, that was wild. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll be back with another match. Ooh, Fairy Dragon. This might be uh, Dear Tina, as I coined it. 
it's my word, guys. Nobody else can use Dear Tina. And if they do, they have to, they have to, uh, you know, credit me. Ah, elixirs of life. Anyways, we go first. We won the tail, the, the flip, as we always say. Tails never fails. And this hand is pretty not good. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to, um, sorry for all the squeaking, guys. I have to move around because I dropped my bottle cap. Ugh, this sucks. I really like attacking with Evel's all. This one is so nice. Um, here's, I think what I'm gonna have to do is actually Ultra Ball another Eveltal so I can max Elixir into it. I have to, I have to get two useless cards. Well, not really two, I just have to, either I draw something useless or I, uh, train a male into, like, a useless supporter. And when I say useless, I mean a card that I want in the discard pile. I know some people give me shit about saying, oh, and in Lysander and all this shit is useless. I'm like, no, it's not that it's useless, it's just that I want them in the discard pile. Because if they're in the discard pile, it's easier for me to BS to get them later. It's simple as that. I don't want to put down the Shaman, thank you very much. What I want to do is max looks for my heart out. Ooh, it's Dear Tina. Alright, I'll take this. Well, let's do this first. Uh, shit. I don't want to grab that. <sighs> Crap. Um... I'm not gonna grab it. I'll just Ultra Ball the Ultra Ball, unfortunately, and my N. We will grab... Ah, uh, the other Evelta, is he here? Is he here? Yeah, it is here. I like this Evelta so much, guys. The other one's cool, if you need a setup. Like, like, people say it's early game, but I think it's pretty decent late game to set up your back bench. But anyways, we're gonna double max elixir into it. Oh my, are you serious? We play 10! We haven't drawn- Oh, come on. I was really- I was really relying on that hitting, actually. But if we get a double colorless and a float stone here, it won't be the worst thing in the world. Um, we do draw for six, we got a perfect shaman. Love when I give me a perfect shaman. No double colorless, but we do have some other stuff, so if we want to... Do I end? I don't want to end. Uh, this is tough. I'm relying on getting a switch or a float stone right now. But I want to set up a Bayful Knight Attacker. And I'm not going to do anything else. I can drop Shaman next turn if I absolutely have to. I can end next turn too if he gets too many cards. Uh, I don't really need these cards per se. Um, oh, this tea is so wonderful, guys. Mm. Mm. I know a lot of a lot. I know a lot of my friends hate tea, and I am very confused. I don't know who hurt them as a child, but somebody clearly did. If you hate tea, I'm sorry. Like I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. I know my 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 ex fiance. She loved. She hate. I mean, she loved to make fun of me for liking tea because she hated tea. And I was like, I don't know you, even though we dated for three years. I don't know you. <laughs> it was one of those things. It was wild though. This deck's so much fun to play though. I might, I might build this deck IRL, just because it's so interesting to me. The only issue is Jolteon. I don't know how you this deck would stop Jolteon besides attacking it twice. But then, like, every time you attack it, you faint. Because, you know, you only have 130 HP. Jolteon hit for 70. So, if you're attacking with this Eveltal specifically, um, you won't be knocked out even if he's holding a belt. Because, you know, he's only hitting for 70, so he only hits for 140. So, I guess there's that positive about it. And uh, 120 plus 60 does equal 180 and only has 160 HP. So there's there's ways, I guess. <clears throat> and you're not a basic anymore if you're hitting it with Evolt All Break. So you can hit past its attack. So there's there's a bunch of positives. Like, there's ways to work around it. i just rather not work around it, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I think I'm going to end this hand because I don't want to drop... Actually, I kind of do want to drop the uh, Reverse Valley. But regardless, though, I don't wanna. I don't wanna drop the um, the Absol. So my best play is probably to just end. But I'm gonna give him more cards. Uh, it's so rough. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna. This is probably a bad play, but I'm gonna do it anyways. He gave me two prime targets back there. We got the Evolt all break. Oh, we didn't. Oh, if we can get a switch off this, that'd be the tits. Nope. We got N, though. I can play around with N. <clears throat> I should have grabbed the Sycamore, but whatever. Like I said, I don't want to waste my Absol. 
Which means there's no way to get him back besides Super Rod. Uh, we'll give this man more cards, whatever. In the end, I ended up ending anyways, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we didn't. Oh, we got the switch though, which is really, really nice actually. And we'll drop the Veltal EX just because I want to get. I want to start charging that bitch up if I have to. Uh, see if we can get another Max Luxor maybe. We got a switch. Parallel City. Right, we don't need any of these. Actually, I'll grab the Sycamore because we might need that next turn. Yeah, we might need the Sycamore next turn. Um, yeah, I'll grab the Sycamore for now. <coughs> and now we can start attacking. We can start sniping down these Shamans. Um, just something I really want to do. And if we get an Absol, that'd be really nice too. Yeah, I like this. All right, we'll go ahead and use Pitch Black Spear. Because then that puts this Giratina in range of being knocked out. And then I can... Actually, I'm, I'm going to double... I think I'm actually... Uh, do I double? Because then I get... I don't get two. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to double. Mm, should I double, though? Uh, there's not really a point. There's not enough damage counters on the board yet. This is where if, if I were to draw an Absol, I would move three here to three here. And then I'd Bayful Knight a couple, a, a a couple of times. But he needs to start attacking me. So he needs a double dragon and to land a max elixir and to put the max... Yeah, and then to be able to switch out too. And because of this Pokemon's ability, his uh, Fighting Fury Belt doesn't apply, just like in the last game. So, oh, he got the Fairy Drop, though. That was a misplay. You should have done it. Oh, wait a minute. He can't even do it to the Shaman because it doesn't have a thing. Well, I'm knocking out the Shaman, then. It's really simple now. Um, I wanted the Bayful Knight to knock out the Giratina, but I'll just knock out the Shaman. And he ends us, which is fine, because we grabbed the Sycamore, so, like, in the end, we're going to play the Sycamore regardless. We lose a Dark Energy though, and I want to start setting up this Eveltal. We get another Dark Energy, we get a Max Luxor, we got a Eveltal break. We can put two energies on this Eveltal soon. Uh, we can even play the Sycamore, even though I'm not Oh, he forfeited. Hey, my boy, this is uh, this is becoming successful. I'm, I'm okay with this. All right, guys, we'll be back for another game. Hopefully I get enough coins to uh, buy the, uh, the next deck. I might show you guys at the end of the video. Anyways, we'll be back, guys. Blah, blah, blah. What is this? Grass Psychic? So I say we'll be back, and I'm like probably not even going to cut these things out because they're literally taking two seconds. But if it's a deck that is just like, you know, fuck you kind of deck, <laughs> like uh, this is Grass Psychic. This is like a Vespa Queen with like Battle Compressor and stuff like that. I'm not putting in the video. This is 2017 format. All the games that we've played so far have been the correct format. Both of the games, which is awesome. Would you like to go first? Absolutely. Oh, this is bad. This is a bad hand. Oh, do I Sycamore? I have to end. I want to keep these cards in the deck. Well, there goes the Absol that I wanted to use. He is unknown. Alright, well this is shit. I'm going to go ahead and end everything away. I'm going to end. Because uh, we only have three stadiums. Well, he probably has four. So I want to win the stadium more to the best of my abilities. All right, we got at least we got a Eveltal and the ability to charge it up. So hopefully we can land both of these max elixirs. All right, we landed one. We landed two. I'm going to attach this one... Attach here in my turn. I have a fully set up Eveltal in the back that I can use um, with the Eveltal break in my hand. Now all I need is a draw supporter because <laughs> now we're a little bit screwed. And it's probably Vespa Queen. Damn it. We'll see if he plays like a new build though. That'd be, oh, nope. Never mind. Take back my words right away. I might cut this video out depending on how it goes. Uh, but yeah, uh, Battle Compressor is uh, now an expanded. Technically, it doesn't start for another seven days, so, but like it pretty much started for most people in the on TCGO because Worlds is over. Now that Worlds is over, there's not really a reason to play uh, the uh, old format anymore because people were just practicing for Worlds and stuff. But here comes a Spinarak. So Spinarak Vespa Quinn deck with the uh, unknown. No, no, uh, what's it called though? Um, uh, no, oh wait a minute, I was about to say no shamans, but there's a shaman. I must have missed the colorless energy, but whatever, that's fine. Oh, he's item blocking us too. Oh shit. Why you gotta do this, bro? 
I mean, it doesn't really matter for us. I'm just going to start attacking you. Now that I'm fully set up, like, I don't need to use items. <laughs> um, it's a little bit unfortunate, though. Unless he can attack us next turn, I am going to start sniping him down with uh, Eveltal. Which is really, really nice. If I can top deck a Lysander, whew, that's GG. Because then I get myself a wonderful, wonderful Shaman. Get two prizes off that Shaman. A boom and a bam. But anyways, Unknown is here. Or, I mean, Vileplume is here to lock us out. If only he didn't play the Battle Compressor, I'd be so happy to play this game. But he plays Battle Compressor, so what can I, what can I do? Not really anything I can do about it. Plays AZ too, so all of these cards that are in expanded format, he's just playing now. Look at this man. Has the oh he's playing he's playing uh subtile too. That's actually really annoying. The subtile one is really annoying. Sleep poison's so irritating. And he ends his turn. Alright, so oh we got the sycamore. That's actually sexy as hell. Uh, I'm gonna attach this just so we can retreat. Um, we'll play the Sycamore, see if we can get anything good off this. Well, I'm gonna retreat, so there's no real reason for me to do what I want to do. But I will play my Stadium. Extra damage, whatnot. Anyways, I can't play any of this shit. So I literally just retreat and attack. Alright. Okay, let's see how this works. Um... Baithful Knight, sure. 120 damage, 130 damage, whew, flames. Let's see if he can attach uh, two energies. Nope, he just gives up. That's awesome. <laughs> okay then, I guess we just set up too easily and quickly for him. I mean, I'm okay with it. All right guys, we're fighting a fighting steel deck. Now, I was really hoping I wouldn't find a lot of expanded decks today, but I already found some, so it's whatever. Some of them are like weird expanded decks. You won the coin flip? Yes, I wanna go first, absolutely. But hopefully this video isn't too long. I mean, like, this recording session, I should say, isn't too long. Because the video will be as long as the video is to you guys. But to me, the video might take, like, three hours. I don't want any of that nonsense. Not today. Not in my house. So what do I do here? So my hand's pretty busted. I guess I can attach a DCE to the Evo Assault. What is he... Is he playing a Magma deck? No, he's playing Steel. He's playing... Oh, don't be... This is already expanded, isn't it? Yeah, fuck, man. This is getting ridiculous. To give this man more cards already, but I gotta, gotta do something. Got two energy switches. I might turn this down to two, to be honest. At least for my own build. Uh, we'll grab a another N for the following turn. Hmm. There's nothing really else I wanna do, to be honest. So, I guess I'll just end my turn. So this man's playing Bronzong Mega Steelix. What is up with everybody playing Tierno? Like, is there like a ladder system in this game where like, if I'm higher in points, I get to battle better players? I don't know if that's how it works or not. But at least now we can attack this man. Uh, I should Ultra Ball away these two. I think I will. Should I? I want to get more Pokemon on the bench, so I'm actually going to do that. I don't need I don't need Shaman yet because I want to keep, th I, I mean, whatever, you know what I mean. I'm going to grab this Eveltal. I'm going to go ahead and put on the bench. That way if I get any Max Elixirs off this, uh, off this N, I can um, use them, essentially. <laughs> I don't know, my English is busted guys, I'm sorry. No max looks, but four energy. So guess what, guys? We're ending next turn. Pitch Black Spear. And we will select an opponent. Select an, we'll weaken the Age of Slash. Does that work? I don't know if it works. No, it doesn't work. All right, so we can't weaken the Age of Slash. Prevent all damage in this Pokemon by attacks from each of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, it is an attack, huh? I didn't even think about that. For some, I'm too used to playing Greninja and thinking of it as an ability. But we can knock down the Steeluxes. But hey, the more you know. This isn't expanded though, so that's why I was just like not thinking about it. Hmm. So what's gonna happen? Uh, he can't attack me yet, so I don't know what he's doing. Is he just gonna end his turn? Bruh. Bruh, what's your play? 
Bruh. Bruh. Alright, let's see what we get off this. An Absol is useless. useless right now. So guess what we're doing, guys? We're ending! Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's put those energies back. They need to stay in the deck so that I can get them with Max Elixir. Why did you guys come back? I don't want you right now. I don't love you anymore. Anyways, we're gonna keep getting damage on the board for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna grab two shame. I'm gonna grab a shame, I should say. Hopefully, we can land max elixirs. Let's grab a shaman. There's only one in the deck again. In the last game that I did, there was it was a. Uh, I say again. In the last game I did, um, it was one shaman the prize the entirety of the game it was my last prize it was ridiculous um anyways this is ridiculous also what the fuck is this we'll just put this down for hp purposes this is wild this is wild anyways we're gonna weaken <laughs> we'll weaken this steelix i don't like that that steelix looked at me funny the other day so i'm just like whatever and then we'll weaken this steelix and then we'll start attaching you what is going on this is crazy. The fact that I've this is like the fifth time in like one game. <laughs> Let's see if you can get another energy to attack me with. This man is this man is um determined to play as Tiernos. That was, that's some good tea, guys. This is some wild tea. So he's gonna attack me. If there's any stadium current plays attack us 40 more damage. So he's just trying to attack me with big damage okay 80 damage is that's two shot potential i am not going to fight about that i'm gonna grab another shaman in a second and he forfeits every okay can i get a, like a full game please i was about to give me a shaman i'm about to set up this evelto on the back so many good things are about to happen all right cool i got big team thank you very much i don't care But I do have enough to buy one more of those things that I want to buy. So I'll show you guys after the video what's popping if I can get enough. It probably won't be the next video, but it might be the video after that. This is a cool coin. I like this coin. It's 11.06. So far, it's not that bad. I got back home at, uh, what was it, 9.30? Recording for an hour and a half trying to get games. But uh, it's not too bad. This will probably be the last game, though. I think. Would you like to go first? Absolutely. Tails never fails. Ladies and gentlemen, and okay, about to get no bad start, no bad start, but then we got this, so we're good. <laughs> we are okay. False alarm, guys. Um, it kind of sucks though because I'm probably gonna play my N actually, because once again, I don't want to have to drop this unless I have to because it's such a good card in this deck, so I don't want to be forced to drop it. But I like this Eveltal deck so much. I'm gonna work on making it better. Um, like IRL and stuff. I might even like build. Oh, we are playing Night March. No, no, nope, nope. Night March is out of the format, so we are not gonna stick stick around, and we're gonna get another game. Sorry, guys. We want to assume you play Night March. Uh, the deck is weak to electric, so even though like we could beat Night March, I don't want to waste you all's time because this is a 2017 format de uh, video. Um, if you guys have problems with it, I'm sorry. I don't want to waste my own time either because I've already been recording for an hour and a half So ooh, we're gonna lose this man brought the almighty Lucario going to see this. That's me. That's face reveal right there <laughs> On the coin flip, of course, I want to go first man. These people don't know that tails never fails. So they just chose tails They just chose tails. Oh, what is this? This is the first time this happened. How many bases do we play in this deck? Four Eveltals, two shamans, two absoles. That's nine basics. So we play nine basics in this deck. So it's interesting. We've actually got a basic every single time. Is there any other basics we play? Not that I know of. And we're going first. Hopefully we can top deck an N. And you know, after we get a fucking basic, come on. Looks like our luck is catching up to us, guys. Looks like our luck is catching up to us, guys. This is wild. <laughs> nine basics. Don't, don't, don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me, game. Use the poke. I don't want to start with Shaman on my bench. Shut up. Don't talk to me. All right. So here's the thing. Kind of fucked. <laughs> he gets three cards off this, and we don't have an N. So hopefully we can get an N off the Shaman or the top deck. Show me what you got. Show me what you want. What you really, really want. I'll show you what. You, I hope, if I can get an Ultra Ball, that'd be kind of lit too. Because I drop the Hex Maniac and the VS Seeker. 
I would play down the energy to abs. Well, if I get it, I'd probably get like uh, Eveltal, and I play down the energy on the Eveltal, put down the Stadium, and then I draw Do Shaman for five. Well, then Greninja, which is interesting. Anyways, we did not get what I wanted to get. I can't attach either. Um, we'll play down the stadium. We're not going to be able to play a lot of cards here. Which is unfortunate. We're only going to draw two off the Shaman. Uh, can, I, can I get an end, please? Pretty please? This man's playing Greninja. I can't let this man play Greninja. Not in my presence. Alright, we might get an end. We got a Sycamore. That's not good. That is not good at all. But we have to play the second one so we can get some momentum moving. Since he's playing Greninja, we gotta put some pressure down. Ah, oh, this is bad. Uh, I have Retreat, so I'm actually gonna drop the switch. And th the other double colors, are you serious? Uh, it's fine. We don't, we're not gonna be attacking the other one anyways. We're gonna be attacking with this e all today. If I can land both Max Elixirs, at least the turn won't be a complete waste. How about that? Can you show me that I can land both Max Elixirs, please? Uh, there's one. Alright, cool. And then next turn, I can Evolve and... Uh, I can uh, Sycamore. Ah, oh, we only landed one. This turn was a waste. <laughs> this turn was a complete waste. I'm, uh, I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy, guys. You know another cool deck, another cool stadium that would be with, with that that could be cool for you, Veltal, is the uh, Maxi, like the Team Magma's hidden base, the one that puts 20 damage every time you drop a Pokemon onto the bench. I might mess around with that with this deck. Uh, that could be really interesting. Because every time you drop a Pokemon, it does 20 damage, and then you just use Bayful Knight, and that becomes 50 damage. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not, because... The deck is really more about attacking what's in front of you and then getting the chip damage on the way. So, oh, Bursting Balloon, oof. Ugh. I wonder if this guy's playing the new deck, the Talon Flame version, that one that was uh, second place at Worlds. That'd be kind of cool. Um, you, though, not really a fan of you doing that, to be honest. He's going to pound me. <laughs> if only he had this one up, he could have bubbled me. That would have been cool. Um, all right, so now, once again, complete waste of a turn because we draw the other Yveltal kind of sucks for us um we got the energy though so i guess it's not the worst actually i have to land this elixir all right cool now it's not the worst thing in the world wait a minute what oh i'm so dumb but i have energy switch so it's okay that's why we play the energy switch this is literally why we play the energy switch um because he has an energy on this one i want to knock it out like i don't care if it involves me taking a lot of damage. The only bad thing is that I need to get another Pokemon down soon. Uh, Oblivion Wing won't help us. We have to bait full night. We'll take the 60 damage, whatever. We'll grab a prize. And we got a Dark Energy, which is fine. He hasn't played anything in Expanded yet, so I might keep this video. I might keep, I'm going to keep this battle in, I mean. Not might, but I'm going to. Alright, so... If you have an energy as long as well as the Frogadier, you should be good this turn. Um, does he have the energy? That's what I want to know. He's going to play another Bursting Balloon. Does he have the energy? He needs the energy, right? He's going to judge me. So hopefully he can get the energy off this. Judge is a cool card in this deck. I actually kind of like it. Disrupts, disrupts your opponent and gets you a new hand. Uh, it's really good if you have Octillery too. Did you get the energy? I don't think he got the energy. I don't think he's going to get the energy to be honest. I'm probably going to Lysander out one of his other Frogadiers, just so I don't have to take too much damage. Even though, does 80 knock me out? 80 won't knock me out, so um, if he does Moonlight Slash me for 80, it won't knock me out, which is really, really convenient. The only issue is that, oh, that's it, that's another forfeit. Oh my god, I need to get one completed game. Just one. Just one, come on. Uh, it says he okay, so it shouldn't be an hour-long video at least not yet because I have to cut out what's two battles What is this the same guy? Is this is the same guy. I'm literally forfeiting because I don't want to battle the same deck twice 
This has been nice and chill though. I actually really like, oh, I don't think it's the same guy. I don't remember seeing this coin. But if it's Vespa coin again, I'm actually forfeiting because I don't want to deal with it. Like it's cool. I appreciate it. The decks are pretty interesting. I already made another person forfeit, so I don't care. Yeah, I don't, definitely not Vesp, not definitely not Vesquin if he let me go first. Um, or at least not not Vesquin, not um, what's it called? Uh, Vileplume, which means it might just be Vesquin with unknown. Choose my boy. I gotta start my turn. Can I get like an Eveltal or an Ultra Ball or something? Pretty please. I would greatly appreciate it. Is he playing? He's playing Combi, isn't he? Oh god, we have to deal with the Vespa Quinn deck. Please don't have Battle Compressor. Be like an updated version. Be unique. Be interesting. Come on. Show me that. Show me what you got. It is this. Why did he make me go second then? Did he just want to give me a chance? <laughs> I'm going to Ultra Ball here and we'll see what we get. No, no. Fuck. And I have to Lysander too, which kind of sucks. I mean Sycamore, because we have no momentum and we have to keep the momentum for this game. Because if he item locks us, we're in a bad position. I'm gonna go ahead and play this down here. And we're just gonna Sycamore. And we got another Uvelto, so that's not too bad. We got some energies. Uh, I'm actually gonna play the VS Seeker to get my Sycamore back just in case, because I want to end next turn. And we'll just end our turn with that. Because this entirety of this hand is all supporters and stuff, and um, I would love to keep the supporters. That's the only reason why I did it. And if I'm gonna be item locked, then I gotta keep the via I gotta keep the supporters in my hand. Cause he's getting the float stone on this thing. Uh, are these things weak to dark? Or are they weak to psychic? So we can't oko them. Now we just kind of chill and let him do his thing. Even though I totally said I didn't want to fight the same deck, I'm fighting the same deck, because whatever. You guys already saw a bunch of other decks, so I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind me facing another item lock deck. Unless I see expanded cards. If I see expanded cards, I'm cutting this out. I see nothing expanded so far. It's Vespaquin, uh, Vespaquin item lock, which is cool. It's cool. I don't hate it. Not so, not yet. It looks like he has a pretty dead hand so far though, so maybe we'll get lucky. Plays the Shaman. We have to just set up one Eveltal, and if we can set up one Eveltal, we'll be in a really, really good position, because then we can Oko everything. There's the Combi. What else you got, buddy? Can he do anything? Alright, there's that. Is he gonna item lock us right now? Okay, Vesper Queen's out. That's annoying. But Vesquin has a not not a hard time, but it's not as easy of, as a time knocking us out because he has to get 15. Po well, right now he only has to get 13, right? 13 is not too bad. 15 Pokemon is actually not too bad either. So, what is it? One, two, three, four. He already has four, so he's doing 40 damage. I believe it's 40. Oh, he has to get so it's 10 more. So he actually has to get what? 13. He only has to get 13. This thing came out though, so if we can attack it this turn. I'll be in a good position. Shauna. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Interesting that he plays Shauna. Haven't seen a compressor yet, so, you know, mad respect so far. Unknown again. Putting all those Pokemans in there. He's not going to be able to one-shot us. I might just Oblivion Wing this turn so I can have a Evolta on the back set. Oh, there's compressor. God damn it, you had to ruin it, man. You just had to ruin it with the compressor. You had to make the game a lot less interesting. One, two, three, four. He's gonna have seven, so it's gonna do 90 damage so far. Yeah, and he, unless he plays Revitalizer here to item lock. What is that? Well, how many is that now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's doing uh, 100, 100 damage so far. Mm, 100 damage is too much for me. Not a fan. And I don't want to end this man either. Ah, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Ultra Ball, wow, must be nice playing items, you know, before you lock me away. 
He didn't drop any Pokemon that turn though, so that's interesting. What you doing? What you doing? Show me what's good. Any second now. Come on, buddy. Uh, you're boring me. See, I'm yawning. Uh. I should get breakfast. I should get breakfast. I could take a shower. Might lay down and chill for a bit. So I'm kind of tired. Um, I'm pretty ahead of the schedule. There's my MPL battle went up today. I have a metronome battle going up tomorrow. I need to get a Wi-Fi battle soon for my Mega B drill team. That's a secret though. Don't tell anybody. Um, uh, what else do I have to do? There's so many things I have to do for the channel, which is exciting for me. There's the revitalizer. So there's less Pokemon in there now, which is nice. But then he gets the item lock going, which is fine, I guess. Hopefully we can get some decent cards off the Sycamore. And be revenge won't knock us out. It only does 80. Okay. So we're gonna have to set up. Excuse me. We're gonna have to set up this Evolto in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and Sycamore here because I decided that I'm gonna Sycamore instead because I don't want to give him a full hand. And we're gonna do this. We'll make it face this way. Fortunately, I can't play any of my items, so. It's gonna oblivion wing here. 40 damage. We'll put one on the Eveltal in the back. I have to I have to get a dark energy. Actually, I would rather get like a sycamore. There's already two in a discard pile, so I need to get two more. I can't even I can't get versus seekers because they're not useful for me right now. I already dropped my hex maniac, so kinda sucks, but whatever. Let's see what this man can do. He's just gonna knock me out now, which is okay, I guess. Pitch Black Spear knocks him out, and then it also does a damage to uh, Shaman. It's not too bad. Um, oh, and we got this too. I'm gonna drop it just so we have more HP. But we have to do this, and we have to get the Dark Energy later. But Pitch Black Spear knocks this thing out and does 60 damage to a Shaman, which means I can knock out a Shaman the following turn. We get a prize right now. Which puts us in a really good position. And then we get another two prizes off that. We get another Eveltal, which is actually not bad at all. He's probably going to go into his Vile Plume here just so he has free retreat. I don't know if this man plays AZ or not, but the way he put out his Shaman kind of tells me that he's playing AZ. Not too sure what he's going to do after he plays the AZ though. Because I'm just going to knock down the other Shaman, right? That's the plan. What is he doing? Putting down more target. Okay, just giving me the Shaman. That's fine. I'll take it. I don't want to drop this because I don't want him to Lysander me out. So we're just going to Pitch Black Spear and we're going to knock out the other Shaman. There we go. Perfect. And then we knock out the other Shaman the following turn. Meaning that I'm pretty sure we win this game now. Can we get a Dark? Damn it, I need a Dark. But I'm actually going to drop this with the Double Colorless now. Because that means that in case he does find a way to knock this out... We have a Pokemon in the back. Now the question is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I didn't even think about it. Uh, but luckily he can't hit 1,500 yet. He's only doing 100 right now. Or, yeah, there we go, 1,500. Okay. So I think that's a video. I'm actually going to go get this before Daniel takes the account and buys stuff with it. Um, so a little secret, guys, for those of you who stayed around. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Please be still in the shop. If you're not on this drop zone, I might be a little upset. All right, it's there. I am trying to play a little bit with Mega Lucario. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need two more. Two more and I'll be set. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. This deck was a little, was a lot of fun. Uh, actually, I'm going to go over real quick. There's a couple things I'd like to change. Um... But like, I don't know if I'd, if I'd want to keep the changes uh, or not because I want to test around the deck a lot more. Uh, this has been pretty consistent. Like I said, I love playing two of these Eveltals in here. I might even play three and only one of these, but I think for the time being, two, two is fine. Uh, this Eveltal EX, I'm not too sure if I like it that much, but I'm sure it has its uses in some specific matchups. Trainer Mails are great for consistency. Item Lock is not going to be common. As you guys saw, all the Item Lock that we did see all played expanded cards and are very, very vital for the deck. 
So uh, we probably won't be seeing too many of those, to be honest. I definitely want a Ninja Kid. The only thing I would want to drop is probably the Energy Switch. We drop one Energy Switch for anything else. I just don't know what else I'd put in here. Are there any other staples that I'm missing? What's a, what's a deck that has a lot of staples in it? Uh, let's see. Where's my Mega... Mega... My favorite deck. Where is it? Mega Guard. Yeah, it's my favorite deck. What does this deck have that the other deck doesn't have? Nothing. This should be it. I can't think of any other staples that we're missing. Um, hmm. I might put in one more Super Rod, because you guys already know. You guys already know how much I love my boy Super Rod. Uh, but that's that's really it for the deck. The deck's really, really nice. It's really consistent. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, I Oh, you know what would be fun? Oh, I'm going to throw it. You know what? That's what I'm going to do right now. Kind of help mitigate the, um, the matchup versus... Versus 2040-60. Versus, what's it called? Uh, I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name. Jolteon. Jolteon, that's the one. Uh, I'm going to actually play a Jirachi. Because then we can... Um, what's it called? We can attack for a, for a single energy, because the Stardust attack is colorless, and then we can get rid of the DCEs. It also helps with the Mega Ray matchup, so I'm actually going to play one of those. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And then I will replace something with Ninja Boy, because Ninja Boy is actually amazing in this deck, I feel. Um, once that comes out, that is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Let me know what changes you'd make to the deck and whatnot, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.